What is up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are checking out the new update to Arch install, which has been quite an overhaul. And I know it may sound a bit ridiculous to make a video on this, but trust me, uh, it needs to be done. And the major thing is the amount of desktops that they've added. It's insane. Like, cute fish is in there. Hyperland or whatever you want to call it's in there. There's just there's just so much stuff. We're gonna look at all of it hopefully today. And there's a new way to partition in it. Like they've been very very hard at work lately, and I'm kind of impressed. It's been it's been really good. So no sudo required. Just Arch install. Let's get to test your connectivity to Arch Linux mirrors. And here we go. Um, make it so you guys can actually see this let's just blow this up shall we yeah, there we go all right so once again we're going to select our mirror region and Canada back locales are defined dislocation so this one's uh honestly new use best effort default partition layout uh there's manual and you got remounted configuration Manual will be good for dual booting because then you can create a new boot partition, you can create a new root, and I have, that's honestly best for when you're installing alongside Windows. So we're going to select this, BRFS, and compression enabled. Bootloader, sticking to systemmd boot for now. And root password, dot user account. Some things remain the same. Yes. Confirm and exit. So this is where it gets good. Profile. Desktop. Look at all of the selection. Wow. Now that has definitely grown from the last time that I've seen this. And honestly, I'm very impressed. Uh, because it's including Wayland stuff now, which is really good. Including EGL Wayland. So this should work with NVIDIA. Deepin. Cute fish, cinnamon, enlightenment. I don't know what the hell that is, but it doesn't sound fun to use. And I don't know, is there more? Uh, is there more? I don't know how to tell. There's a search button, but let's do that. Um, drivers, open source for 3000, 2000 series and up. And then your open source garbage one. And then you got your NVIDIA proprietary and this one. SSDM, audio. That should honestly just default to Pipewire. It's ridiculous not having it on Pipewire. And we're just gonna use Network Manager. Enable that and install. Watch how quick this goes. So we're already three minutes in and this shouldn't take very long to start up at all. Um, previously before this, there, it was hitching on something like it was stuck and it would just take forever to go through processes. But as you can see, it's just zooming. And it's really nice to see that they fixed that issue because this was one of the most annoying, problematic issues that I've seen in like ages, the fact that that would happen. So there we have it. Um, it's going to grab the firmware. And then it's going to grab the Linux kernel and then it's going to install all of its stuff. That is the updated Arch install. It's faster. It's got way more options. It's a bit more organized. Uh, it's a bit more user friendly, which is always important. And the final thing is it allows anybody to install Arch Linux. That's the biggest takeaway from this. Anyway, with that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video, and do all that cool stuff, and I'll see you guys next time.